Howdy. Yep, still bright. Ooh. She said it. How's everybody doing? Good. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Moon the Pirate. For those of you who do know me, I'm sorry, probably. I don't know. I did something. See, I try not to offend people by being an openly gay, happily engaged woman in the South that's kind of hard not to do. So if I do or say anything this evening to offend you, I'm sorry. And if I don't offend you in any way, I will try so much harder in the future. So just keep that in mind. But those of you who do know me, you know I usually like to have a little theme when I come up here. And tonight I wanted to talk about new beginnings. I mean, there's a fairly new year, fairly new house, which is magnificent. I love it for open stage here. And it's a fairly new me. I've actually lost about 10 to 15 pounds since the last time I was on stage. So, you know, it's a work in progress. And by work in progress, I mean the equivalent of five guys standing on the side of the highway staring at a crater in the middle of the road going, yep, that's a pothole. But I'm working on it. I'm, I'm working on it. Because I don't normally do New Year's resolutions, but I decided that by the end of this year, I want to weigh 135 pounds. Why 135? Because Bruce Lee, that's why. Because anybody that can knock you on your ass with a one-inch punch deserves to be emulated, okay? I'm just saying. He was awesome. But, I mean, it's not like I'm completely just dissatisfied with my body. It's just a personal choice. It's just there's some things I wanted to change. Like my thumb, I swear to God, my thumb looks like it's out of breath all the time. I don't know how. <laughs> it just does constantly. But, I mean, it, that's just my thing. And, and it's not really taking a whole lot. I just eat a little less, work out a lot more. And I know it's working because I jumped in bed the other day and my sleep pants fell right off my ass, just right off, just bare bottomed in bed and I was happy about it. So, you know, it works. But I'm lucky because I actually like to work out because it actually releases endorphins. It actually gets you high. It's called a runner's high. This is a legitimate thing. And it's a really shitty high, but it's totally worth it. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. There's nothing, I promise you, there's nothing else like it. When you were just laying in the corner, you just can't move, can barely breathe, your muscles are aching, you know, you're just smelling like burnt, sweaty, rubbery ass, I swear, there's no better feeling in the entire world. I promise you. I highly recommend it. Of course, I don't really have much to go on. I don't do drugs, never have, never will. And I'm not just saying that because my parents are probably watching. Hi, Mom. But seriously, I don't, like, with a brain like this, with my imagination growing up, I not only had a closet monster, I had a full-on Criminal Minds FBI profile on that shit, okay? I didn't play around. I knew exactly what was going on. Besides, like, if I take too much aspirin, I find myself staring at the back of my hand for an hour and a half like it's the goddamn Da Vinci Code. I don't know why. I'm just, it makes a map of Italy. It's so pretty. Just for so long. But, I mean, it, it's fun. I mean, I really enjoy working out and it does a lot more like it makes you more confident more brave like just yesterday I was driving home from the gym ironically enough and this truck just screams by me doing about 80 down to 55 going past the double yellow lines just hauling ass looking just like the dreepers creepers looking truck I swear had a decal on the back window that said yeehaw I shit you not okay <laughs> just reeking of no insurance just terrible terrible truck and I was going to let it go until I saw it go down my road. And I'm like, oh, I got to see where this guy lives. So I follow him all the way to the house. And out of the truck jumps Johnny McJust got his license. Beard not even full, just not even grown yet. And the best part is there's this old, like, 80-year-old, wispy, 80-pound woman standing outside. I'm like, oh, grandma's got to know. Okay, I grandma's got to know. So I get out, and I'm wearing my normal gym clothes, just my sweatpants, just torn up sweater, like just tennis shoes and a, a tank top that I swear to God says some girls play dirty. And I get out of the truck, or the car, and this guy, you know, he plays it cool. I'm like, hey, man, just watch your, your speed down there. My dad's part of the fire department. I don't want him to have to scrape your brains off the side of the road, okay? Just, you know, play it cool. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And Grandma's like, oh, thank you so much for talking to him. I appreciate it. And, and I went home, but what I like to think happened is that Grandma goes inside, sits him down, looks him dead in the eye, and says, Sonny, I'm about to wear your ass out. Like, that's what I really, that's what I'd like to think happened. And I don't advocate child abuse. I don't think any child should be hit for any reason. I think at any age, communication goes a long way. But I just feel like there are some kids out there that just need to be shown a switch. You know what I mean? Just like the threat that that could fiercely meet their backside, I just feel like 
could change you know, the new beginnings in their life because new beginnings are not always easy. As a matter of fact, the last time I was on stage, I spoke about my cousin Angie who was in the hospital. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say that four days after I did my performance, she passed away. It was literally the day the video was uploaded. And I'm not telling you to make you sad. She wouldn't want you to be sad. She loved life. She loved vacations, the beach, cruises. She loved margaritas, okay? She loved dragonflies. And that was part of the thing is all of us, a lot of the females in the family got dragonfly tattoos. And to honor her memory, some of us went on a cruise. We went to uh, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, and Cozumel, Mexico. And we were in Grand Cayman, and I was with my beautiful fiance, Alex, and I was telling her about Angie and telling her about her life and remembering, and I swear to God, at this exact moment that I'm telling her about Angie, a dragonfly just whips by. And I didn't see one before or since that moment, but it just flies by, and I couldn't help but think, if that bitch flies in my margarita later, I'm going to be so pissed off. <laughs> because she would. I mean, that, that was just her. But it, that's the whole point, though, is that sometimes change, it, it's kind of easy. I mean, there's different levels of it, whether it's weight loss or it's kind of hard, like losing a friend or a loved one. It can be difficult. And sometimes it's fun and easy, and sometimes it does leave you in the corner, breathless, unable to move, just muscles sore, smelling like burnt, sweaty, rubbery ass. But I promise you, there is no better feeling in the world. Nothing compares to it at all. I highly recommend it. So that's my time open stage. I thank you for listening, and good night, everybody. Tom, so, uh, moon, moon the pirate. Hang on.